my name is Kim Scott. I'm a graduate student studying developmental psychology in the Brain and Cognitive Sciences Department at MIT. And this is my six-week-old daughter, Zena, who came into the lab today to help me tell you about the Look It Project. Over the past 50 years, developmental psychology has made tremendous progress in understanding how infants and children make sense of the world. Researchers have developed a wide range of clever designs and dependent measures that tap into the beliefs of even preverbal infants, for instance, by measuring looking times or search behavior. But the main bottleneck in this research is still the problem of getting the kids into the lab. It takes an enormous amount of time and energy to maintain a database, recruit and schedule kids, and run the studies, even if the testing session itself is only five minutes long. That limits how many kids we study, which kids we study, and which researchers can do this sort of work. By moving online, we can reduce the practical constraints that limit the questions we ask. We can work with larger sample sizes to measure small or graded effects. We can more easily conduct studies with longitudinal designs in order to see change over time, effects of an intervention, individual differences, or even variation within the same kids. We can work with special populations working with families to accelerate research about their children's particular diagnoses. We can observe behavior at home in a much more natural environment and where, for instance, toddlers may actually talk. And we can collect more representative samples. We can work with parents from all over the country, urban and rural, not just people who live near a university lab and have the free time to come in. We've developed an online platform called Look It, where families can participate in developmental research right from their web browser. A family anywhere in the world can create an account on the system, register their children, and participate in a study right away. They do a quick activity in the web browser as webcam video of their child's responses is sent to the lab for analysis. We first conducted several test studies on a prototype of the site to establish our ability to collect several types of measures, looking time, preferential looking, and verbal responses. Right now, we're running a study called Your Child the Physicist about infants developing understanding of physical principles like inertia, gravity, and how support works. To do that, we're measuring preferences for more and less probable versions of physical events. We show two versions of the same event side by side. For instance, on the right, we might have a ball rolling up a ramp, and on the left, rolling down. Babies see about 24 of these event pairs in a 10 to 15 minute session. We also intersperse some control pairs, where either one event is much more interesting to see how strong a preference the baby shows, or where the two events are both possible and very similar to see how close to 50-50 they split their looking. The ambitious part of this study that's really only possible online is that we're asking parents to try to come back for up to 15 sessions within just a few months to get much more detailed information about individual preferences, individual differences, and the types of variation across the sessions. One goal is to get a better understanding of our methods. How stable are kids' looking patterns across sessions? How much can the controls explain that variation? How much do things like mood matter? In other studies, when we see that, say, 13 out of 16 six-month-olds look longer at A than at B, we don't know how to interpret that. Are those other three kids most likely just not to understand the contrast, to have a genuinely different preference, to be responding noisily like everyone else, or just to be tired right now? We're also interested in the overall structure of the tasks. Do we really see evidence of conceptual groupings and responses, for instance, looking at gravity events versus inertia? Although online testing replaces the in-person recruitment and testing processes, just as in the lab, we end up with a video record to process. Back in the lab, we receive the video and other study data, and a video coder watches and records the measures we're interested in. Most parents opt to share their data on Databrary, an online repository for developmental video that allows researchers to reuse the data in the future. As development continues, we're excited to support and incorporate ongoing innovations in automated gaze coding. Automated coding is going to be key to scaling up infancy studies to larger sample sizes, and it'll also allow us to create online contingent displays for testing and for teaching. We want to create a tool for everyone to use. We're not just looking to make developmental research easier for current labs and expand the questions they can answer, but we're looking to expand the group of people who can do this sort of research. Other groups that can benefit from LookIt include early childhood educators, pediatricians, clinical psychologists, and social policy researchers. We're aiming to bring together computational, clinical, cognitive, and educational approaches to development. Our work is currently focused on expanding the platform and developing functionality for use by multiple labs. Our vision is of a large collaborative online lab with a shared participant pool 
where all researchers can post studies and collect data to better understand early childhood development.